Hello friends, welcome to Photoshop video tutorial series. In the previous video tutorial, we understood that when we launch Photoshop application, at the top of the application, we find menu bar. Below the menu bar, we find option bar. On the left hand side, we find toolbar. On the right hand side of the application window, we find panels and the middle free area is known as document area. All these are actually known as Photoshop UI components or Photoshop UI elements. Option bar is a UI element or a UI component. Toolbar is a UI element or a UI component. All these palettes and windows are considered as Photoshop UI elements or components. Also, I told you in the previous video tutorial that we can customize the Photoshop workspace according to our requirement. The place where we are working is actually known as a work area or workspace. This work area or a workspace we can customize according to our requirement. We can hide some panels, we can place this toolbar on the right hand side, we can customize it according to our requirement. Before we understand how do we customize the workspace, how do we create our own workspace and save it, first we need to understand how we work with Photoshop panels, palettes or windows. We should understand how do we manipulate these different Photoshop windows. First thing we need to understand is how do we close a panel. To close a panel, right click on the panel name and click on close command. Here we have a panel called as color panel. I right click on it, click on the close command. You can see color panel got closed. Similarly, I can right click on swatches panel, click on the close command to close it. That is how you close a window or a panel. To close a tab group, we right click on the panel name and select close tab group command. You can see there are two tab groups are there. In one tab group, adjustments and styles window are present. In another tab group, layers, channels and paths windows are present. We can close the complete tab group by right clicking on any panel name. Instead of selecting close, we need to click now close tab group. That will close a complete tab group. We can close this also by right clicking selecting close tab group. That is how you close a tab group completely. Once you close a tab group, of course, you want to display them back, right? If you want to display a panel or a window, you have to go to window menu and select a window to be displayed. For example, if you go to the window menu, you find a list of windows that you can show and hide in your Photoshop user interface. Here, you find around 30 windows that you can show and hide in the Photoshop UI. There are 26 windows you can find here. There are two windows you can find here below and here you find two more. To total 30 windows that you can show and hide. Once I go to window menu, I click on color command. You can see the color window is visible. I click on window and click on swatches. The swatches window also got visible and it is tab grouped with the color window and color and swatches both are in one tab group now. I click on window, click on layers. You can see the layers channels and paths got displayed in one tab group automatically because previously when I closed the layers panel, all these three are in one group. That is the reason all these three got displayed at a time. Photoshop remembers the previous states of all windows, even your whole UI. Now we understood how do we display and close a panel or a tab group, right? And there are some shortcuts also you can observe. F5 for brush, F6 for color, F7 for layers, F8 for info, Alt F9 for actions. I discuss about these shortcuts again. And also these check marks indicate that these windows are visible. Even you can see if I click on these tools, the toolbar is not visible now. To make it visible, I go to window, I click on tools, toolbar is visible. I go to window, click on options to hide the option bar. I click on window, click on options to show the option bar. That is how you can close and show the windows. Next, we understand how do we minimize a panel. To minimize a panel, right click on the panel name and select minimize command. To expand a panel, right click on the panel name, select expand panel command. I go to Photoshop. You can see I right click on this color window name. I click on minimize to minimize the panel. Again, I right click on the name of the panel. Select expand panel to see the panel completely. Right click minimize, right click expand. That is how you can minimize and expand the panel. 
There are another ways also are there. For example, you double click on the panel name to minimize, click on the panel name to expand. Here, I double click on the panel name to minimize, I click on the panel name to expand. Double click to minimize, click to expand. Okay. Next thing we need to understand is collapse to icons. How do we collapse panels to icons? To do that, right click on the panel name, choose collapse to icons command. To expand panels, right click on the panel name, choose expand panels command. You can see here, if I want to collapse all these panels to icons, I right click on any one panel name and choose collapse to icons. I click on collapse to icons. You can see all of them are collapsed to icons. You can see only icons. If you want to expand, you just click and see any one like this. You can expand them. Okay. If you want to expand all of them, you just need to right click anywhere and select expand panels. So you get all the panels expanded. Right click collapse to icons. Right click expand panels. Hope you guys have understood how do you collapse windows or panels to icons and expand them. Same thing happened to these two also. Here these two windows are actually collapsed to icons. You can expand them by right clicking and saying expand panels. They are expanded you can see. For collapsing, right click, collapse to icons, right click, collapse to icons. That is how you collapse to icons. Also you can observe here, you can find the icon of a window, also the name of the window. But here only icon of the window is visible. To see the name of the window also, you just need to click and drag this edge to the left. So I'm dragging, you can see that I can find the icon as well as name. To collapse to just icons, you want to see only icon, then you just click and drag it to the right, you can see only icon. Click and drag it to the right, you can see only icons. But for the beginners, remembering the icons and identifying the window, it's difficult. So usually you can put the icon as well as name, icon as well as name for for easy identification. You can easily identify the windows. Next thing we understand is how do we collapse to icons or how do we expand panels in other way. Click the top right corner arrows of a palette well. Click top right corner arrows of a palette well. To expand and collapse to icons, what you can do is, here you can see at the top arrow marks. Can you see these icons? If I move the mouse cursor over that, it is telling expand panels. If I click, it expands the panels. Same thing, expand panels, I click, it is expanding the panel. Again, I move the mouse cursor over the same arrows. It is telling now collapse to icons. If I click, collapses to icons. Same thing, collapse to icons, I click on it, it is collapsed to icons. So these two arrow marks that, that you see at the top of the palette well, this column is one palette well, this column is another palette well. At the top you find these arrows that help you to collapse and expand the panels in the form of icons or full panels you can see. Similarly you can see here on the left hand side we have a toolbar. On the toolbar also you find those arrows. These arrows not help you to expand and collapse, uh, same only expand and collapse kind of, but only thing is you can find the toolbar in a two column or a single column layout. You can see two column or single column, whichever is comfortable you can use in that way. So that is about how do we collapse and expand panels to icons. Next thing we discuss about how do we ungroup a panel or a group a panel. How do we create group of panels or how do we ungroup a panel from a single tab group. Here we have, let me expand, I click on expand panels. This is one tab group, this is another tab group. You can see color and swatches windows are grouped into a one tab group. These are tabs. Similarly, layers, channels and paths in one tab group. These are tabs. I can ungroup by just clicking on the name and drag it out. That is how you ungroup a panel. That's what I'm telling here. Click and hold a panel name and drag it out. That is how you ungroup a panel. For example, I can ungroup the swatches. I can ungroup layers. So that is how you click and drag the name. That's it. To group panels, Click and hold the panel and drag it in back. Once you find a highlighted blue rectangle area, let go the mouse button. What you have to do? To group these two together, first I click and hold the name of the panel and drag it in this place. Once I find a blue rectangle highlighted area, I let go the mouse button. Let's see. So I drag it. You can see I find a blue 
rectangle highlighted area. Once I let go the mouse, you can see color and swatches are now in one tab group. That is how you tab group friends. Similarly, you can see I have ungrouped a layer panel. If I want to group it back to this tab group, I click on the name, drag it. Once I find that blue highlighted area, I let go the mouse. You can see that now the layers is now tab grouped. I can change the position of these panels or order of these panels in the tab group by dragging them left like this. I click and drag to the right like that I can change the position or a placement of the panels in the tab group. Hope you guys have understood how do we ungroup a panel and group a panel. Okay. Next thing is docking to the left, right or top or bottom of a panel. How do we dock and undock we understand. Click and hold the name of a panel or a tab group. Drag it. Once you find highlighted thick blue line, then let go the mouse to dock it or undock it. Blue rectangle area help for grouping a panel, whereas highlighted thick blue line help you to dock and undock a panel or a tab group. So here I want to dock it this tab group above the layers channels paths tab group. To do that, I click on the name of this tab group or I can click on the tab group itself and I drag it. Once I find that thick blue line, I let go the mouse. Now it is docked above the below tab group or the layers tab group. To undock it, I click and drag it. You can see similarly here, I want to dock the left hand side of this layers tab group. So I click and drag it until I find that blue line. I let go the mouse. You can see I have created another panel well and it is left of this tab group. It is docked here. So to undock, I click and drag it. Similarly, if I want to dock it below this layers tab group, I drag it to the down here. Once I found find that blue highlighted area, I let go the mouse. You can see I docked it down here. I hope you guys are understanding how it works, docking and undocking. If I want to dock it to the left, I drag it to the left hand side. Once I find that blue highlighted area, I let go the mouse. You can see it is docked to the left, right? That is how it works friends. To undock, this is how we undock. Hope you guys have understood how to be dock and undock. If you want to close this free floating window or tab group, you can click on this X button or close button that will close the window itself. If you want to open a window again, you just go to window menu and click on the color. You get that floating window again back to dock it. I just take it to the top and put it here. So that is how you can dock and undock. Next thing I talk about panel context menu. On clicking the button on right corner of the panel, on right corner of the panel, here you have a button. Okay. Provides access to the context menu of currently active panel. Here layers panel is active. If I click on this button, it gives me a context menu with respect to the layers panel. That means I can create a new layer, duplicate layer, delete layer. All these commands are with respect to the layers panel, which is actually active panel. If I click on channels, now the channels is an active panel. If I click on the context menu button, it has given me a context menu with respect to a channels panel new channel, duplicate channel, delete channel, all these commands are with respect to the channels panel, which is active panel. That is how you get a context menu. Every panel is going to have a context menu. Okay. You can get it by clicking on that right corner button. And next thing is few important shortcuts to remember F5 for brush, F6 for color, F7 for layers, F8 for info, Alt F9 for actions. F5 for brush, F6 for color, F7 for layers, F8 for info, Alt F9 for actions. These shortcut keys will hide and show the respective panels. For example, I show you F5. I go to the Photoshop. If I press the F5, you can see brush panel is visible. If I press again F5, the brush panel is going to be hidden. Show, hide. So I'm pressing the F five key F six key hides the color and shows the color F seven hides the layers panel F seven shows the layers panel F eight shows the info panel 
F8 shows the info window. Alt F9 shows the action window. Alt F9 hides the action window. I hope you guys have understood how do we work with Photoshop panels, palettes or windows. Where do you get the all list of windows in Photoshop that is in windows menu. Remember that. I suggest you people to try this, practice it so that you can be able to comfortable with docking, undocking or customizing the Photoshop layout. In the next video tutorial, we are going to discuss how do we customize our Photoshop layout or a UI to create our own workspace and understand how to save a workspace, how to delete a workspace, how to reset a workspace. One of the most important point you need to remember is Photoshop always remembers the previous things whatever you have done or last actions that you have performed on the Photoshop UI. For this tutorial, this much is enough friends. For more benefits and be updated, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited.